Filmora 14 versus Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video we will do complete comparison of features of these to beast, AI and fast video. Editing softwares to see which is the king of video. Editing. Stay connected till end so you don't miss anything. So without wasting time let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Filmora 14 unlocks new possibilities for visual storytelling and effects, taking video editing quality to the next level within your breath. Premiere Pro is also not behind the race, it is well known for its advanced editing features and integration with other Adobe softwares. It is mostly used for professional video editing and filmmaking. Adobe is one of the leading software in the market. In this video we will Compare latest features of Filmora 14 to Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting time, let's get started. It is the advanced form of motion tracking. It is one of the best features of Filmora 14, which takes video editing to next level. In your timeline, click on the clip on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to AI tab and enable planar tracking. You have WO models, auto and advance. Adjust the position where you want to track. Click on Analyze. Filmora will process the movement of selected area throughout the clip. Once tracking is complete, create the new element. In this case, we will create rectangle to cover the sign. Now select the clip and find link element. Use the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position. Now let's create the text we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and choose the text you just created. Our desired text on the signboard is done. In this way you can easily create do tracking. As we talk about Premiere Pro, we can do motion tracking using keyframes. I have imported the clip on timeline. Let's put text on the top of moving truck. I will change the font and style of the text. Adjust the text properly according to your object. Now do the keyframing manually to follow the motion of moving truck. In Premiere Pro, on each frame we have to change the position and rotation of text for the best results. Doing keyframing manually takes a lot of time, so I fast forwarded the video. If you are new to channel like and subscribe to Jugar Expert as we upload such type of informative videos after doing motion tracking using keyframes, this is the final result. In planar tracking, Filmora takes the lead. Let's move towards next feature. In order to use this feature, select your all clips, right click and create multi-camera clip. Here you can choose synchronization method. Click on compound clip in timeline and select multicam button. This opens the window showing all camera angles. Just play the clip and click on clip and Filmora will swift to that camera angle. In this way you can fastly edit your amazing video. In Premiere Pro, to use this feature, select your clips, right click and create multi-camera clip. Settings, window will pop up. I will keep the settings as it is. You can change accordingly. It will create a new sequence. Move the sequence to timeline. On preview window, there is plus icon. Click on it from here. Select toggle multi-camera view. Now you have all camera views. Simply click on the clip and it will be automatically added. I didn't have multi-camera clips, so I used stock media clips. These were small clips, but you got the idea how it works. For this, both Premiere Pro and Filmora got a point. Let's move to other features. This new feature allow you to create path for keyframes. This makes the animation more smooth and efficient. The end result looks like this. As we talk about Premiere Pro, I have selected text for the keyframe animation. It's very simple, just 
Move the text after the certain frames and it will automatically create path. This makes animation more smooth. After making random path of keyframes, the final result looks like this. In order to keep the video short, we will not go to much details of this feature. AI sound effect allows you to create your own desired sound effects with simple prompt. This saves time for searching on internet for the sound effects. Adobe Premiere doesn't have this feature. You have to search on internet for the sound effects. In the color tab, choose AI color palette. Import your reference clip and click generate. You can make adjustments to color strength. By this feature, you can apply any movie or series colors to your video clip easily. In Premiere, you can also use this feature. You have to go to Lumetri color panel and there is color match. Move the reference clip on timeline. After that, you can simply apply this feature by selecting the reference clip and source clip. Premiere Pro will automatically change the colors of the source clip. Let's move to other features. This feature is same as a Filmora 13. It allows you to auto reframe your clip. We won't go in much details as you already know about this feature. In Premiere Pro, you can also do auto reframe. Right click and select auto reframe after applying settings. You can simply auto reframe your clips to ratio of which you want. Open Effects tab and select Face Mosaic. Filmora will automatically detect faces. You can choose which one's face to blur. Just single click and your face mosaic is done. This is amazing and time-saving feature. In Premiere Pro, you can blur any face by applying mosaic effect around any face. After applying the mosaic select motion tracking. Result is good, but here Filmora 14 takes the lead as it has more specific and simple to use face blur feature. Filmora now has the video enhancer feature, which will novert your low resolution video to high quality video with the help of AI in few seconds. Premiere Pro doesn't have specific video enhancer feature. These were some of the features of new Filmora 14 as compared to Premiere Pro. AI Face Mosaic is my favorite. Tell me which feature you like the most. It's up to you which software you use. Use both and choose the software which best fits your needs. I hope this video will be helpful. Like, share, and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more helpful and informative videos. Thanks for watching.